Hello! In this video, let's get acquainted with the timeline page. Its greatest benefit is that it syncs with third-party tools We track time via EverHour. So you can create an assignment here or inside EverHour, which will sync with your third-party tool, and say how many hours you believe a user to spend on this task and when it should end. And uh, after that, track the actual time spent versus uh, the assigned hours. If you haven't turned on Timeline yet, you can do it by going to the Teams Settings page, then Apps, and you can find Timeline here and activate it. So if we return to this page, we can see there are a number of options that facilitate your navigation. First of all, all assignments that you see here can be grouped by member or by project, or you can apply no grouping. You can navigate left and right to see different days on the calendar and zoom in and zoom out to adjust your view as well as apply different filters in regards to members and projects that you would like to include on this timeline. Now let's try to create assignments from different places. So first of all you can create an assignment by clicking on this green button in ever hour. When you open the modal window there is a place where you can choose task from this adjusted list. You can type its name, switch to search by project and by the way the projects and tasks where you can create assignments are connected with your access in the integrated tool. Uh, if you have administrator role, you will be able to choose all projects. If you have um, non-admin role and only part of projects are visible to you, you will choose only from them. And also the filters that you apply form the list that you see here. So I'm going to choose one task, then I can choose different colors for my assignments just to make them visually stand out on the timeline and I need to choose at least one due date to make it sync with my third party tool. So if I save the assignment now it will be added as unassigned because inside Ever Hour there is no option to assign it but when I click on the created assignment now I can put an SNE here as well as change the due date. Let it be start today and end tomorrow. And I would like to spend three hours on this assignment. Now it has been added to my calendar, so if I go to this task you can see how details updated and that's exactly the same information I see here. By the way, if you go back to this task details view, there is an option to quickly start tracking time with a timer or adding hours manually as well as updating these hours so you don't have to go to your integrated tool. You can track time staying inside Ever Hour. Now I'm going to use another tool, Jira, and try to create an assignment here first. So I have this task. I'm going to assign it to me. Sad, it's due date to be, let's say, Friday and start it from tomorrow.
we now return this page. Let's refresh it. Okay, you see no update yet, so we may want to update our project. Go into it and resync. So you can see that sometimes you need to resync projects to see updates immediately. And here we go. This is an assignment we have. So it was added from Jira, although the sync didn't trigger itself immediately and I had to resync the project um, at last this assignment appears here. And if I again now change something, it will also transfer to to Jira. I may need to refresh the page. Yep, I can see the changes now. Last thing to mention here is that not all integrations we have sync two-way. Please uh, follow our knowledge base and um, find the dedicated article for timeline uh, to read where you can uh, have these two-way sync and what integrations have some limit on it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. If you still have any questions, feel free to contact us at ask at or click on this green question mark button to read other support materials.